I just love the way the water looks when it beads up on the car in the morning. It's uh, interesting. It forms interesting patterns and it's very visually appealing. <laughs> Uh, at least to me it is. Anywho, very, uh, very humid morning apparently here in sunny Florida. And this morning I, uh, I have something to take care of here on the car. Uh, I gotta put you down there so I can put my seatbelt on. So I got something to take care of here with the car that has been neglected for a very long time, but finally getting to take care of today. What is that you say? Tires. You're like, wait a minute, Kirk, you already got tires in the car. N -n yes, that's true, but I only got rear tires put on the car. Why didn't you get front tires put on the car? Great question. <laughs> For me to do the things I need to do with the monies I'm making, I had to be very and extremely frugal and strategic about when and where I spend my monies. So I had to wait a little bit between the back and then putting the front tires on. The front tires weren't in nearly bad shape as the back tires. Back tires are spent mainly due to all the burnouts and stuff because this car just wouldn't hook, it would just roast the tires. And it was kind of fun, I had a lot of fun doing it. So I spent those tires a lot quicker than the fronts um, and the fronts held up pretty good, I mean. <laughs> I know the Pirellis aren't the best and people say they wear quickly, but I've I've really rung these babies out. I mean, the car's got 37,000 miles on it now. I mean, I drive a lot and um, they're still fine, but it's time, you know, it's not only time for safety reasons, but the car is very limited in terms of um, handling performance with the front tires the way they are. They do not grip nearly as well as they as they once did. And that's a problem when you're, you know, trying to have some fun around the turns. Now, when taking a turn, or sharp turn especially, but taking a, any turn really, but a, a sharp turn at a high rate of speed, there is a noticeable scrubbing now on the front tires where there wasn't originally, but now there is. So that tells me that is time. And I'm hoping with the new Yokohama tires, which is the same ones I put on the back, uh, the Advan Apex tires, I'm hoping that with those, it improves my, you know, capabilities for sharp turn-ins and stuff and reduces the possibility of scrubbing. So we'll, we'll see, we'll test that once we get them on. The nice thing is that the Yoko, these Yokohamas, they have a much lower wear rating than uh, the Pirellis that are on here. I think the Pirellis that are on here have like, I don't know if it's like three something, or is it like five? It may be like 500 or something. Super high tread wear rating. And for those who don't know, that just means it's a harder compound in, in the tire, the way, the, way the, the rubber itself is created. It's a much harder rubber. So it, it takes a lot more time to wear it out. And you know, for your average car, that's what you want. You don't want to have to be replacing tires all the time. But for a car like this, you need to be able to take advantage of what the car is capable of. And unfortunately, <laughs> the only thing between the car and the road is the tires. So softer compound tire helps with that. And the Yokohamas are a 280. So while it's not super low, I think 280 is a great number for a daily tire. If these front tires perform nearly as good as the back tires, I will be perfectly happy. Um, you know, the back tires have been great now that they've worn in, you know, they grip well when they're, when the, when they're aired down a little bit and they got a little heat in them. Um, they perform well in the wet weather, which is great here in Florida. And so far I'm happy. I don't think I'll be any less happy with the front tires. We'll just have to wait and see once we get them on. I know at first until you wear them in, they're going to be a little slick, but I'm sure they're going to be a whole lot better than the Pirellis that are on here. So anyway, enough of me babbling here. Figured I'd just get you a rundown on what's going on today. Heading up to Acala. Be there in about 25 minutes and we'll uh, you know, drop the car off. Let it get new tires put on. Let's have some fun on Cars Creating. I got a little 
little sideways. Alright, we're almost there. Good thing is, I thought I was going to be late, but I'm not. Alright, here we are, discount tire. You know, I'm really skeptical about having people work on my cars. I get nervous when people work on my cars. It's not so much that I feel like they're going to do something wrong. If someone's working on my car, I would I want them to respect my car. You know, if I was working on someone else's car, I would respect their car. And uh, sometimes I fear that that doesn't always happen when you have your car worked on. But this place did a pretty good job last time and they seem to show much care when performing work on the vehicle and moving it around. Um, so I, I definitely feel fine coming back for the front. So, so I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna end up waiting an hour or so, but you're gonna see the clip right afterwards. So um, yeah. Well, I'm back home now. Got the tires put on and uh, I just kinda wanna give you my first initial impressions of the tires and good news. <laughs> Like they are, uh, they're performing as well as I would have hoped they would. Like it's not mind boggling, but they're definitely performing the way I would expect based off how the rears are. So um, definitely gripping in a lot harder on a turn. Now I haven't had a chance to really get into turns with this, but I took a couple turns on my way home and you know, I just kept feeling out the way the, tire, the way it felt and you know, the car just handled good. It didn't scrub as much on the front from the you know turns I did take and um, you know it just hook gripped in and, and it felt good like it definitely had confidence going into the turn uh, I really need to see how these do on uh, really sharp turns um, you know going in pretty quick but uh, they got my rims all dirty eh. oh well take care of that that's not a big deal so far so good I mean the rear is they're holding up pretty good too so Hey, it works good for now and I'm happy. So, you know, eventually I will get around to doing an in-depth review of these tires. Um, I've done an in-depth review of uh, tires I had on the SHO, the BF Goodrich uh, G-Force tires. And, uh, you know, I definitely plan to do another review like that because I think these are also great bargain tires. You know, the whole point of that video is, you know, they're a great bargain tire. To an extent, I think these are a lot better, quite honestly for a performance application for a regular daily and you don't really worry about grip, can't go wrong with those BF Goodridge's, but I think for more of a performance application, yeah, these are where it's at. These Yokohama Apexes, I really, really like these. So eventually I'm going to get around to that video and when I do it, hopefully you watch it. I'm gonna try to bake in some good uh, data and statistics within that video to help people understand exactly what you're getting when, with these tires. Not just, okay, it drives good. No, I'm gonna have like, how much ease is going into a turn? You know, like a lot of really good data. So it's gonna be a nice video, but like I said, and it's gonna probably be a little bit before I get around to it, but I just wanted to make this video updating the whole process here with the tires and the fact that finally the Mustang's got all new tires. So nice and safe now, all good and um, that's going to be it. So that's going to wrap it up here for this video. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with everyone you know. If you want to see more content like this and you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Keep a lookout for next year car enthusiast video.